So these right here are the high level outputs coming off my head unit. I normally just use them to power up the test bed speakers, but today we're going to send it right over to the LC7. Probably doesn't need to be that long for the test bench, but I'm about ready to give this thing away to somebody, so I might as well make them a wire that's long enough and include it with it. So this thing's all hooked up, ready to go. We got a base knob right here, a little optional ACR1, positive, negative, all that good stuff. We got our line level outputs from the deck. Now I don't have a factory deck on my test bench, but I do have high level outputs on this here Sony. So this is what we're using. This is what's coming out of it. So first of all, let's see if this thing even turns on. Before I turn this thing on, I'm gonna need to open it up, pop the hood, Change a couple of jumper settings on the board. Now this thing's configurable several different ways, as you can see with the jumper settings here.
Now I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing here because I haven't really had a chance to use this much. I know I want full range on the first two channels and sub output on the other two channels. So we're just gonna pop a couple jumpers over and I think I should get the output that I'm looking for. So take those out. Okay, change those. Put the hood back on. I know it looks like brain surgery, but it really isn't too bad. Just a couple of screws, a couple of jumpers. Anybody who's hooking one of these up themselves can probably handle it. So, all right, let's plug this back in. And um, let's see if we got lights. Here we are. Okay, so we got green lights. Looks like we're connected to the main channel. Even though I'm probably not going to use this, I think I'm coming in from here. That way I can send my base over to here and keep my full range coming out this direction. Subwoofers that direction, but we'll find out. Let's go ahead and set these gains real quick. Turn all this stuff all the way down. First thing you're going to want to do is find out where these high level outputs are distorting at. Very important. You cannot set your gains unless you know this number right here. Track one. We're looking for the bass first and then we'll look for the highs. See that up there? Pretty clear or no? Okay, so two volts. Now remember, we're on the high level outputs, not the RCA, so this is going to be a little hot. The distortion at 46, clean at 45. I know you can go a lot higher on the low level outputs, the RCAs, but speaker level is always going to be different. They're amplified. So yeah, anything past, you can see how much voltage that is. Okay, so anything past 46, distortion. So 45, we're clean. Let's jump on over to the highs. We're gonna do the same thing. We'll watch that and see what, what our number is gonna be. Okay, so we got distortion at 47. Clean at 46, 47, 46. So what I would do is I would just back that down to 45 because we know that the base is clean at 45. Now we're clean all the way around. 45, we're good to go. We hit pause. So the next thing we want to find out is how high we could turn this processor up without seeing distortion. When you're setting your gains, you start at the beginning and you work your way through the chain. That's why using a digital voltmeter does not work. You have to start at the beginning and work your way all the way through. Doesn't matter just what the amp says. You have to know what everything in front of the amp is saying too. So we're gonna take these probes off. We're plugging RCA in. I don't have a single RCA handy, so I'm just using a set of doubles, but only one side of them. Take that, we're gonna plug this in to this first channel. Right here. We're going to take and plug these high level outputs from the deck in that we know are clean up to 45. Plug that in. Turn this down. All this stuff is all turned down. All right, we're going to start out at 1000 hertz because I'm on the full range channels first. And we're going to turn that up to 45 because we know that's our clean number. Okay, so here we are. It's detecting it a little bit, but there's not much coming through. We start turning this one up right here on the top. Just start seeing some voltage here in a second. Bam. All right, now, I don't know how high I can go on this. Look at that, putting out eight clean volts on the highs. No distortion, but that's a little too high for most amps. I'd probably recommend around five. So we're gonna put that on five. Five volts, exactly. 
All right, so now we're gonna move this on over to channel three where I have my base. And we're gonna change tracks. Track one, volume still at 45. And we're gonna start turning this up until I see five volts. Right, one second, we gotta do one more thing. My bad, I got a base knob hooked up. So you're gonna wanna turn this base knob all the way up. This one's still all the way down, we'll turn that back down. Okay, we're gonna turn this all the way up. Okay, so that's all the way up. Now we're gonna start turning this until I see five volts. There we go, that's more like it. Forgot that thing was over there. I'm still turning it. See, boom, then I'll keep on turning it just to see what will happen. Okay, so it looks like we got a little distortion coming through. Right around seven, six. Okay, but we're gonna, we want five anyway, so we're gonna back that down. And if your amp can handle more, you can turn it up to whatever you want, as long as it's clean. So we got five on the dot to match the highs. So this thing is already perfectly safe. So we got five volts on there, clean. We're still at 45 on the deck. Back that up a little bit just to make sure the track will change. No distortion at all, five volts, up to 45. Now watch what happens. So we know this is clean. And this thing's all the way up. So we start turning it down, you're bumping your system in your car. So basically there you go, zero. So you can actually turn your base all the way down. That's how you properly set your gains with a base knob of some sort hooked up in your ride. Turn it all the way up. We're still at no distortion at all. So there's your five volts, turn it back down. So easily control your base and you know you're not distorting the whole way through. Okay, so now let's test the amplifiers. Let's set the gains on the amps and this thing will be done. Back on the probes again. Turn it on. Plug the ass back in. All right, everything's hooked up, ready to go. We're gonna turn this up to 45 where we know it's clean. Is that still our number? Up here. No distortion yet. So I'm gonna start turning this gain up until I see distortion. Okay. Change the track four. I'm gonna start turning this thing down. Now this amp might be a little big for these speakers so instead of doing five we'll do something like we'll do 3.5 but there we go 3.5 on the highs let's jump over to the base do the same thing here we go so turn this gain up Okay, we got distortion. Okay, so we're gonna hit read. Go to track three. Now if the amp and the subs were matched perfectly in ratings, right about here is a great starting point. But the amp is way bigger than the subs, so we're gonna back that down three dB to about seven. There we go. These gains are officially set. The deck is clean to 45, the crossover is clean through and through, the amp gains are set all the way up to their distortion point. I say we plug it in and turn it on. We should be able to turn this deck all the way up to 45 and have this whole thing banging all day long with no problems. All right.
right, all that is fine and dandy, but did it actually work? You be the judge. Come here and listen to this. We're going to pop this disc in. The base knob is turned all the way down. Theoretically, we should be able to turn it all the way up, no problem. We'll go to this classic. Turn it off to 45, because that was our number. She said I'm hella fresh. She said she wanna kick it. See my Facebook status. She said she what I'm missing. She said that she a diamond. She shine while she's listening. She said that I'm a star. Trying to reach me is a mission. All I gotta do is hit her. Yeah. All I gotta do is hit her. Seen her at the spot. She came up talking. Her and her other friends. I know we said my day was walking. She said, Aren't you sorry? Yeah, she said she know when. She said that I was cute and dope, but really doubt the movement. She said, Hey, with the bushy moving now. I she can come through top down. Hey, the town. Let's turn this thing on its back so we can get a better view of what it looks like. But basically, there you have it. That's how you set up a clean sound system where you can turn it up to your number, which would be 45 or 62, whatever it may be on a deck that goes up to 62. It may be that the deck doesn't distort at all, but you need to know that. I like it a lot. All day long when you set your games right. I don't know what else I can say about this. It's a very clean light output converter. Six channels. I would say that 90, 95, maybe even 99% of the LLCs out there, the ones you tap into your 6x9 in the rear, you start turning those up, pure distortion the whole way. So the fact this thing doesn't let any distortion through at all is awesome. Everything's turned all the way up. Everything's clean all the way through. Not like that, but if you have a factory sound system, this will help you get everything equalized and flattened back out the way it's supposed to be. You got your AccuBase. You can bring back bass that's been taken out. It's just a great little unit. So I gotta give a lot of love to this audio control. It works great. But I have one more thing that I want to do before I end this video. This is my fast and all guy. Hey, what's up, Zach? Hey, man, I got you on YouTube right now, man. Well, you'll be on YouTube later when I edit this video, but uh, uh, are you going to be out and about today? Uh, yeah, I will. Why don't, you yep. come up, why don't you come over to the shop, man? I want to show you something. Okay. Like, as soon as you can, because I want to put this stuff away, but I want to really show it to you. All right, you got it. All right, bye. Bye. I'm bringing my fucking copper parts. Oh, sorry. Bye. Hey, so we'll wait for Zach to get here before I pull this apart. I wanted to hear what it sounds like. And then I'm going to tell him that it's his. He, he told me that he wanted one for his system that he's working on. So I want to hook him up proper. Zach's been my fast and all guy for about three years straight. He always brings our stuff over, usually on time. And um, everything we need comes straight from fast and all. So time to give back to my brother. Zach, wait till you see this. You're going to love it.
Zach, my fastball guy, just now pulled up. He's going to bring us some stuff in. He's been asking me about this LC7 for a little while now, and uh, he doesn't know that he's getting it. So we're going to play it off. We're going to show it to him what it's all about, and I'm going to hand it to him. That's how we do it over here at SMD. So come on. Yeah, you got my black nuts. Appreciate Always. it. Always. <laughs> hey, uh, check this out, man. Corn. Oh, man. Is this for me? Yeah. Nice. Appreciate that. Remember, you were asking about this LC7 for your, for your Jeep? Is that your Jeep you wanted it for? Yeah. Okay, well, I got one and I got it here to test. I wanted to show it to you before you went out and bought one yourself. And, um,. I just basically want to run it down so you know exactly what it is. Right. So basically what I did was I took the high level outputs off of this thing right here. God, that pan is annoying. Basically took the high level outputs out of here, which would be off of your factory deck, right? Is right. that what you're going to use yep. it for? Yep. So these are your high level inputs. The outputs on the deck, inputs onto the LC. Then you got your RCAs out to your highs amp. RCAs out to your lows amp. We crack the top. We move a couple of jumpers. Move a couple of jumpers over so we can get bass out of a full range signal. Okay. All that is in this video that I've been making. So all these games and everything are all okay. set. The games all right, the so this thing has set. a remote in so you can actually turn it on with a regular deck. But if you have a factory sound system, it doesn't have any kind of remote out on it like most of them don't. You can actually use the main inputs over here. And when it sees any kind of signal, when you turn on your factory deck, you get in the car, it'll kick a remote on for the output. So you can actually signal sense, and send a remote out to your amps from there. I don't need to do that because I've got a Sony deck down here. Right. But, but like my factory deck, I'd have to do that. You probably will have to yeah. do that with your factory deck. So you would use this one on the very outside. I'm not using it right now because I don't have to, but it's there. Right. So, all right, so let me see, go back. Play one more real quick. RCAs can't have those. We got the box. It's here. Where is the rest of the box? That sucks because I was planning on listening to this the rest of the day, but I know you got to get out of here. So we'll get to your plugs. We got your box. Let's bring it over here. Yeah, is it good or what? Are you excited? Oh my god, I can't wait to get it hooked up. Yeah. Okay, so we got some instructions, which you know you can take in the bathroom and read later. Yep. We got a little thing, a little quality control thing. We got this thing right here. I don't know if there was there's probably some other foam in here or something. I don't know where it's at, so. Or is this it right here? Something like this. I do this every time, I have no idea how it goes back yet. Alright, well here you go. There you go, there's that. Yeah, exactly, right? There's that. There's that. 
This does not come with it, but I'm giving that to you too. Because I had an extra one laying around. You gotta order that separately. There you go. All right, man. All right, Zach. Hey, man, I just wanna let you know that you and Fast and All have contributed to my success here by bringing me my fasteners when I need it, bringing me my spray when I need it, bringing me everything I need when I need it. My copper is my copper. Anyways, bring me my copper usually on time. And uh, I appreciate you guys, and this is for you. Enjoy it, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Don't worry, dude. <laughs> now, I know you got to get out of here, man, because I see that book, and that means you're running around. Making, making the runs. Yeah, sure. Right on. All right, man. Cool. Thank you. Get out of here, man. I got stuff to do. All right. Yeah. Later, Zach. Later. All right, man. Fasten off for the win right there, baby.